What's up my fellow junior devs, it's your boy Michael and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you how it is that you can up your design game as a developer. Let's be honest, one of the things I do on Twitter is every time I see a fire designer I just follow them. Particularly if you notice, it seems like everyone who works at Vercel who has the title design engineer is just insane at crafting these beautiful UIs and I'm I'm a big lover of UI like I love UI I know everybody's chasing all these different things but UI has my heart There's some people know me as the component king I just find component libraries and I appreciate them but I'm starting to reach a level where I want to build these things I want to know how is it that you can craft clean simple sleek designs how like something that's just so aesthetically pleasing that's art that's not too much but you know speaks like artistic you know what I'm saying so I reached out to two homies who by far are my favorite when it comes to design, right? Both of them have component libraries and they both have a different swag sauce to them. I basically said, listen, me and my gang, we want to up our design game and we would like some advice. So both of them sent me video recordings of the advice that they want to share with both myself and you. So sit back, relax. I'm going to play the first person's video, then the second person, and they both are going to introduce themselves. So I'm going to let them do that. I'm just going to tell you right now, they're both saucy with it. And I'm going to leave their information, their links down in the description below. So follow them, make sure to hit them up on Twitter, tell them they're awesome, all that type of stuff. And I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy the advice. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hi, my name is Dillian, and I'm the founder of Magic UI, a UI library for design engineers. We help developers make beautiful landing pages without needing to know how to design. So let me show you how I go about my process and how you as a developer can get better at design. So it's a very simple process. Uh, I have like about just two steps of how to get better. Um, the first thing is I gather a collection of inspiration sites and I slowly absorb their style and their philosophy uh, to form my own taste um, over time. So, for example, I like this one site called Linear, linear.app. Uh, these guys have done a phenomenal job at designing and developing their site. And I take a lot of time to just sit uh, here and just study like, what they do. And also figure out why they do this and why does it look good. And I go like very, very detailed. Like, for example, I notice here uh, there's some grainy background happening over here. And also their card uh, has a gradient from like lighter to darker here. So I figure out why. Why did they do this? And also why does it look good? And then keep going down further and further just to figure out more. Also, um, uh, there are some other sites I like a lot too. One is called Wope. Wope.com. They've done an amazing job as well. Uh, Reflect. Reflect app has, has done an amazing job. Um, as you can see, I have a little, little uh, purple theme. Uh, I don't know, fetish or something going on. <laughs> but honestly, these uh, sites are really, really great. Um, another one is Gitness. Uh, Gitness is a beautiful site, um, and they've definitely put a lot of time into building this. Um, they have actually haven't done it with uh, normal technologies. I'm pretty sure they're using something called Rive, which is a way, sorry, is an animation system to build these types of sites. Um, but again, you can just still observe how they do their font, how they do their coloring, and also why does it look good. And use those learnings on your own projects. Um, along with all this, the second thing that I would recommend doing is studying the best on GitHub. So, uh, one example of this is a site called Superbase. Superbase is a great open source project. Um, and also, they actually have their landing page and all of the learnings of how they um, design or develop these things uh, fully available on GitHub and open source. So you can actually just like click onto the GitHub and dig around and just figure out how they did their site. Uh, there's a lot to learn there um, in terms of how to code your design thoughts and bring them into reality as a developer. So these types of things are very, very helpful to learn and read from. Um, and one more example is the uh, ShadCN uh, website. So the creator of ShadCN created a repository called Taxonomy. Taxonomy is an incredible example of how to build a like properly structured Next.js app with modern technologies um, and 
also how to design and lay them out really well. So this is an example of a Next.js app. Uh, well, sorry, this is an example of taxonomy. But if you just dig around here and dig into how they built their thing, uh, you can learn a lot about design and also development um, and how to structure the, the website to make it look really good. But yeah, that's all from me. I hope this is really helpful for you. Hey everyone, this is Ansaf and I'm the founder of Syntax UI, a open source and free to use UI library and a founding engineer at a YC startup. And here are my advice for developer who actually want to get a good designer. So I'm actually dividing it into four points and I really hope it helps you. So point number one is to find inspiration. It all starts with inspiration. Any idea will start from an inspiration. So find some sort of inspiration. It can be people, it can be products, it can be website that you're using, etc. So for me, it's Apple, obviously, and uh, Linear, Raycast, Superhuman, Versal, etc. There are a lot. So yeah, that's how it actually goes. Point number two is to recreate the inspiration that you're finding and add your personal touch to it. So for example, let's just say if you're looking at uh, Linear and you're actually finding a good button that they have actually created, so try to mimic that thing. Try to code that button out. See how they actually have made it and try to recreate it. And then try to add your own personal touch to it. It can be uh, increasing the padding, decreasing the padding, messing up with the shadows and uh, coloring, etc. It can be anything. But adding your personal touch actually matters a lot. Third point is to learn from open source libraries. So you have the code. It's open source, it's available for free. So why not just learn from it? So see how UI libraries are actually coded. So for example, you can actually go to Syntax UI and see how I'm and the other co contributors are actually contributing to it. So you can actually learn from that code. It's available for you for free. And same with uh, a very good Toast uh, library called Cerner by ML. It's a very beautiful Toast library. See how the animations are working. So that is the point number three, to learn from open source libraries. Point number four is to share your work. So if you're actually building something and you're building it in the cave, it is actually not going to be mattering anything. So you just have to share it with people. You just have to get that feedback loop so that you actually learn from it as well. So try to publish it on Twitter. I actually publish it on Twitter and sometimes on LinkedIn. And that's where I actually get that feedback loop from people. So when you're actually getting that feedback, try to iterate your product on the basis of that feedback. In our case, it's the design that we are really making. So people are going to be saying like, okay, this is not a good UX practice. You should actually do this. This color is actually not suitable. Try a different color. So you can actually iterate on that. It also gives you a lot of opportunities. So you can actually get a lot of job offers and uh, yeah, it actually gives you a good will in the community. People will actually respect you for that. And it also gives you motivation to build more. That's the most important point, right? If you're building something and uh, there is some sort of feedback loop from people and people are waiting for your uh, animations or design work that you're sharing, obviously it will motivate you to build more stuff. So those are my tips for developers who really want to get into design. Hope you all have a nice day. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'm trying something new. You know, hopefully you, you're rocking with it. And if you're not, let me know too, down below in the comments. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Make sure to subscribe. Peace.